Danny, first of all, give us your thoughts on today's match. Yeah, I mean, it's massive for us. Another three points gets us up to second place after results elsewhere today. So it's where we want to be this season. And I'm just glad to be back and contributing towards that as well. Coming into this match, you know a way to come back. It's going to be a tough, tough tie. It's a big pitch as well here at Rugby Park. What did you think coming into the game today? Yeah, I think first and foremost, clean sheet, four goals, all different kinds of goals. It just shows that, you know, that we've got that in our locker. And I think... Like you say, Kilmarnock, every team in the league are, are good competition for us this year and there, there's no easy games. So, yeah, it's great to come in, get the win and like you say, it's a big pitch. So for us to um, take advantage of that is, is great. So as watching from the sidelines, watching your, your team on in the, the first half and into the second half as well, what did you make of the performance of your, of your teammates having to watch on as well? So. Yeah, I think today we were probably a bit slower in the first half. We we got ahead, managed to keep ourselves ahead. Obviously, got in at second, uh, sorry, got in at half time and, and really regrouped. And I think as the changes started happening, I don't think it did anything but strengthen us. So um, yeah, it's good to see girls, young girls, and and the girls that are not maybe playing as many minutes, and then myself coming back. It just shows you the strength and depth that we've got in our squad just now. Let's talk about that. Obviously, that injury keeping you out for, for a number of games there. How frustrating as, as a player is that to happen when you're into the season as such? Yeah, I mean, first game back, it's devastating, really. It's the first time I've personally experienced that sort of uh, setback, but it's made me a better person, I think. I've come back, I've, I've worked my bum off, uh, and genuinely just delighted to be back. I've, I've been on the sidelines, I've been watching the girls, supporting them every week, and it's a different side of things. I've, I've enjoyed that as well, but yeah, it doesn't beat getting on the pitch and putting your shin pads and your boots on and, and scoring goals. So, you know, I think uh, Gavin spoke about the value that you bring to the team, and obviously losing you was a big loss. But watching on from the sidelines, the fact that you've had players like Robin and, and you fill in uh, for you if you like and, and score goals and help your team win, how pleasing is that being to, to see that strength and depth that you've got in the squad? Yeah, I'm delighted for Robin. I've I've played with Robin for a long time now, and. It's something she's always wanting to add to our game, so I'm delighted for her to get the goals. And, and like that, we've got other girls throughout the team that can chip in with goals here and there. Jade has come in with a few goals this season, important goals for us, so it's, it's good that we've got that. But yeah, good to be back. Now you are back and you, you got a couple of goals today. It's the perfect way to return to the squad. How does that feel? It's very pleasing. <laughs> Obviously coming in, the first thing you want to do is just find your feet and to score so quickly coming in, it just gave me that confidence to know that I am okay and you know I have got that still <laughs> still in my locker so yeah it's good. And in terms of for, for the squad having yourself back and having the strength and depth that you do how much uh, of a boost do you think that is for, for you personally but for the, for the squad as a whole? Yeah I think the girls are happy to have me back in training and shouting at them and egging them on again I, I'm quite a big personality so I think yeah I think that's noticeable in training and in games and I hope that I can just continue to contribute towards the team and, and keep everybody going and hopefully we can keep getting the performances and results that we need. As a player and, and fellow players in your squad, they know about getting promotion from this league in SWPL1. You sit currently second in the table after today's results. Is that the aim for, for Dundee United this season? Absolutely. I mean, the aim is to pick up three points every week if and that, that takes you to the top of the table if you do that. So definitely it's something that everybody wants to do everybody wants to win every game so if, if it gets us promoted then it gets us promoted One more game to go um, I think before we, we get into the, the Christmas break how big it would it be for the side to pick up another three points and to have that momentum going into the break? Yeah massive I think obviously when you come into any sort of break you want to be on the front foot so that you've got that confidence and positivity going into the, the restart so three points is, is what we're aiming for every game and hopefully we'll get that